Hi, welcome to Reach Tip of the Day. Today's topic is vacuum system maintenance and operation. So let's start from the very beginning and go all the way back to the vacuum pump. In your operatory, you have your saliva ejector, your high volume valves. Those can easily be cleaned with brushes. Uh, they can be disassembled. We have other Reach Tips that has um, tips on how to maintain these, but you use your brushes and clean them out, take them apart, ultrasonic, etc. But those are, there's another tips video that covers all that. So it starts here. The tubes can be restrictive as far as old tubes. They can build up debris on the inside and also just the rigidity, the how stiff they are. Um, that these tubes are inexpensive. They can easily be replaced, but they can also compromise your vacuum flow. Um, back to the delivery room traps. There's a, tra uh, a solids trap in every room that collects any large debris. Um, and that can be, should be checked on a regular basis to make sure that's cleaned out or replaced. And then you go through your building plumbing and you go back to your vacuum uh, pump that provides vacuum. We'll go there next. Okay, and here's your vacuum pump. This is what produces vacuum, the suction in your operatories. So this particular brand is Air Techniques um, ADH. Um, you've got your two motors here. Uh, two breakers here. You should have remote switches that turns these units on and off. Um, and then you have your a built-in solids trap here and your gauge and your vacuum breaker. Uh, basic operation is that making sure that the breakers are on and your remote switches to turn them on and off. You should use your remote switches. If you can go with the operation, this, if the vacuum is strong enough by running one vacuum at a time, It'll extend the life of your vacuum overall and just alternate between pumps. Odd days run one of the pumps and even days run the next. Uh, that's how a lot of offices do it. They'll label the switches. On heavy days, just switch both of them on. Um, but if you can, if you, if the vacuum is strong enough, adequate enough to run just one vacuum during the day, uh, that'll extend the life. So main, uh, that's the operation. Maintenance of the vacuum pump is you want to come in here and check on a regular basis the gauge to make sure that your gauge is working and also average uh, pressure we call it inches of mercury there is no mercury in it but that's an old way of gauging it but they still use that term so the inches of, on your gauge should be around 10 or 12 uh, that's average uh, if it's any higher or lower uh, talk, talk to your uh, your reach technician and they can adjust that or find out why it is uh, either higher or lower. Um, your solids trap, the little clear trap on the side. Um, these, these, these pumps were engineered um, before uh, amalgam separators were involved, um, but uh, the, and they were to, they were there to collect any solids. Uh, the, that technology is an older technology because now you have the amalgam separator, which we have another reach tips that uh, talks about the amalgam separation. But um, those, so the trap that's on here are was before amalgam separators, but they are on here and they need to be checked on a on a regular basis to make sure that they aren't collecting any debris in there and to see if they need to be changed out. You should always have one of those on hand or a, a case of them, whatever you have, to make sure you have those uh, available if you do need to change them. Otherwise, that's really, not, that's really all there is to check on a vacuum is your trap and your gauge and to make sure that both of them are running uh, alternately.